Welcome to the Wolfenstein 3D walkthrough on the I Am Death Incarnate difficulty for the PC. I'm Jefferson Davis, and this is Episode 5, Floor 5. This map features the secret exit switch, which allows us to travel to the secret floor. Also, this map features a glitch, in so much that you cannot achieve 100% treasure in this map. Now work quickly here. There are many guards around your start island, so go around it and kill them all. I believe they're all dead now. I believe that was the last of them. Now go back and face your start door, then head left, and there's the silver door. Head right from that, and there's the gold door. Turn right from that, and here's a door. Now this door, and this door right here will go to the same room, but I'll open up the one on the left first. Kill the enemies inside. And once they're dead, go to the second door and kill the guard coming for you. Then venture into the room and grab all the goodies. Head back out and continue along. And open up the next door. Now in this room there are three SS officers, so do your best and stand right here and take them down as they appear. Now in this room, it's disgusting. Look at all the blood and the bones and such. To the left behind these barrels is the chain gun. And here's some dinners over here, as well as some treasure chests. Exit the room once you're done. We'll skip this door for right now and come back to it later. For now, we'll open up the door in the hallway. In this blue room, wait for an enemy to come into your path, in this case an SS officer. Then wait right, wait right here for more enemies to appear in front of you. Gotta watch both sides because they can come from both sides. There's only a handful of enemies, like two guards, yeah. So once they're all dead, grab the treasure on both sides of this room and the ammo if you need it. And once everything's collected, go back and face the door you used to get to this room, turn left and go around to the left around this island, and press on the wall on the opposite side. On the island. And inside, you'll find some health and ammo. Alright, once you're done, exit the room. And now we've opened up all the doors in the start room apart from the door we skipped. So now we'll go and open it. There's a few German Shepherd dogs in this room, so stand in the doorway and take them out as they appear in front of you. That's the last of them, I think. Head into the room, head left, then left again to take out this guard. Be sure you do that, otherwise you'll get shot from behind. Now this room's kind of like a maze, but it's not it's not hard to get it's not easy to get lost. Now this door and these two doors and wait for it this door this door and this door will all go to the same room believe it or not but I'll open up the first door it's easier in my opinion because this is what we're gonna do we're gonna venture into the room peek into the large room here fire a shot then retreat fast and exit out of the room completely See, the object of that room is there are many doors, and if you stand in the doorway of just one door, the enemies will venture out of the other doors and actually come up behind you. That's not what you want to happen. There are many enemies in that room, and it can be very, very tough. That's why I retreated all the way out here to the start room, so that there's only one door they can come through, rather than like, you know, five or six. And that's not a good thing. See how many enemies there are? There are lots of them. Ouch. Just do your best to kill them all. Sometimes they do get stuck in the winding hallways of those doors. And you have to go manually searching for them. Yeah, this part's kind of dangerous. I mean, there's no solid strategy for this part. Just do your best and you should be fine. And look in all directions to make sure you kill everybody or that no one sneaks up behind you. 
So once you think you have everyone dead, or at least the vast majority of them, you can venture into that room that the enemies came from. See, there's still some stragglers. But inside the room itself, you'll come across some med packs to heal your wounds, and the silver key. With the silver key in our possession, we can go back to the start room and open up the silver door to the left of the start door, right here. Again, this room is very reminiscent of the past. There are multiple hallways. Rush in, shoot a couple of enemies, and then exit back out of the silver door and wait for the enemies to come into view. Oh gosh! That, uh... That kind of hurt. I'm almost out of ammo here. Yeah, it can be a little dangerous. <laughs> I don't know if that's the last of them. I'm hoping it is. But, you know, probably ain't going to take many chances, so I'm just going to go back and find some health. Now, wh which door was... Oh, I could use some ammo, so this room is not a total loss. Now, which room had the... Uh... Oh, here it is. All the dinners. Usually you shouldn't take too much damage if you, you know, fire accurately, unlike what I was doing. You could venture into the room now, but uh, there's, a, there's a way to get everything. Venture into the room and hug the right-hand wall, and you'll come to three stashes of treasure. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. And the third stash is right here with the gold key. Make sure to grab that. Now, keep mind of this room this maze-like room. We'll come back to it after we explore the gold door. Or the gold door room, rather. So exit out and open up the gold door now. Why are we skipping the uh, silver door for right now? Well, you'll see. Kill all the enemies here in this passageway. And, uh... Sucker. Now there's two SS at the end. Alright, now here is the exit door. We could flip the switch, but we're gonna go back and take the secret exit. So, exit the gold, gold door passageway, and go back through the silver door. Now, what you want to do is hug the left-hand wall until you get to the first corner, right here, and press on this wall for the secret area. And inside we have, uh, some health packs. We could use one. As well as several rows of treasure. So, grab it. Alright, now find the wall that only has one red Nazi flag. In this case, this wall. And press on it. Now this is a glitch. There is a glitch in this game. The secret wall will move back three spaces. Right on top of a treasure item. That's right. The Nazi flag wall is right now resting on top of a treasure chest. Meaning you can't grab 100% treasure no matter what you do. You cannot beat the secret wall to grab that treasure chest. So this map is incompletable for 100%, but that's okay. You stupid wall prohibiting me from getting 100%. Oh well, open the exit door and flip the secret exit switch. Yes, there is that glitch in this game that prohibits you from getting 100% treasure, so 98% is your maximum score. I mean, there's just nothing you can do. I mean, by default, secret doors move back two spaces, but in this case, this would move back three spaces, for reasons I don't know. But apart from that, this map is pretty difficult if you mindlessly walk through and you don't have a strategy in mind. You can rush into the rooms and destroy all the enemies, but you'll either take lots of damage or you'll die. But um, the strategies that I implement here are the safest ways. So basically what you want to remember is the silver key room and the silver door room are the two toughest spots in this map. 
shoot a bullet into the room, then retreat out of the doorway, and then stand in the doorway and wait for the enemies to come into view. That's the safest way, and it's pretty easy if you follow that strategy. But with that, we'll move on to Floor 10, the secret floor of Episode 5. What awaits? We'll find out next time. I'm Jefferson Davis. Take care, everybody.